Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice algebraic equations? So at this left hand side we have radical and at this right hand side we have a quadratic. So we want to find the value of x that satisfies this. So the first thing is we consider the solution here. Then let's take the square of both sides. So by squaring both sides we are going to have this as a square root of 2 minus x all squared equals 2 minus x squared all squared then so this square and square root cancel then we have 2 minus x equals 2 minus x squared all squared then we have to expand this so when we expand this we have here remains 2 minus x equals the expansion of this gives us so here is 2 squared minus 4x squared plus x raised to the power of 4. So this is the expansion of this bracket. So let's collect 2x, 2 minus x to this side. And by doing that, we have this as 2 raised to the power 2. Then we have 2 raised to the power 2 minus 4x raised to the power 2 plus x raised to the power 4. Then by taking this here, we have minus 2 plus x, and this equals 0. So after having this, we have this as 2 power of 2 minus. So I want to combine these two with this. And here becomes minus 4x squared minus 2. And also we have plus x raised to the power 4. I will combine it with x equals 0. So the reason for this is I want to apply quadratic formula here. But we are going to be wondering that y is a constant, a quadratic, yeah. So we can apply that for here. So we just make sure that instead of x, we have 2 as a uh, as that variable here, so which is a constant. And here is 2 squared minus so what is common here is let's say we take out minus and here in the bracket we can have this as 2x squared plus 1 so by factoring out 2 we have to put 2 here at the bracket and here is plus x raised to the power 4 plus x equals 0 and suppose I compare this with ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Here is a quadratic whereby our x squared here is our 2 squared. Then b is 2x squared plus 1 and uh, c is the whole of x raised to the power 4 plus x and where this 2 is our x here. So by applying the quadratic formula here and uh, we are going to have instead of x we are going to have Instead of x, we are now going to write it as 2. So 2 will be equals to the minus b, which is 2x squared plus 1. So the negative will cancel negative. And here is plus or minus the square root of 2x squared plus 1. All raised to the power of 2 then minus 4ac. So our a is 1. Then c here is x raised to the power of 4 plus x. So that's our c. Then everything divided by 2a. So a equals to 1. Then after having this, we are going to proceed by expanding this bracket. So when we expand this one only, we are going to have 2x squared plus 1 raised to power of 2, then minus 4x raised to power of 4, minus 4x. So when we expand this, and the expansion of this one is 4x raised to power 4, plus 4x raised to power 2, plus 1. And here is minus 4x raised to power 4, minus 4x. So by this, my plus 4x 
raised to power 4 minus 4x raised to power 4 cancelled. And at this, we have 4x raised to power 2 minus 4x plus 1. So 4x raised to power 2 minus 4x plus 1 is more of 2x minus 1 raised to power of 2. So when we expand this one, we are going to get 4x raised to power 2 minus 4x plus 1. And we come back to our parenthesis here. So we are going to have, we have 2 equals 2x squared plus 1. Then here is plus or minus. So square and square root will cancel here. And here is 2x minus 1. So this in bracket, all divided by 2. Then we are going to cross multiply. By cross multiplying, we have 2 times 2, that is 4, equals 2x squared plus 1. So plus or minus 2x minus 1. Then we have plus or minus here. We have to consider the two cases for positive and for negative. And everything equals 4. And this 4 here is now serving as x. So for the first case, we are going to have 4 equals 2x squared plus 1, then plus 2x minus 1. And with this, plus 1 minus 1 cancelled. And uh, we have 4 here, we have 2 here, we have 2 here. So it means we can factor out 2. By factoring out 2, here reduced to 2 equals, and here is x squared plus x. Let's take 2 to the other side. We have x squared plus x minus 2 equals 0. And here is a quadratic equation. So we are going to factor this. This is factorizable because we can have this as x squared. So the sum is going to be 2x minus x. So 2x minus x equals x. And the coefficient of x here is 1. Then 2 times minus 1, that is minus 2. This equals 0. So here we have x squared plus 2x by grouping minus x plus 2 equals 0. So in the here we have x open bracket x plus 2. So by factoring out x, we have x plus 2 in the parentheses minus there is 1 here. Then here is x plus 2 equals 0. And with this, we can combine x minus 1 and place it beside x plus 2 equals 0. And uh, we are going to have our x here equals minus 2 comma 1. So x equals minus 2 comma 1 are the first two solutions that we get. But minus 2 does not satisfy it. So the only answer here is 1. And we we'll consider the other part of this when we take the negative into consideration from what we have here. So by taking negative into consideration, we are going to have so for negative we have 4 equals 2x squared plus 1 then minus open bracket 2x minus 1. Here we have 4 equals 2x squared plus 1 minus 2x plus 1. So when we use negative to open this, we have minus 2x plus 1. And here we have 4 equals 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 1, that is 2. And with this, we can factor out 2. 2 can divide everything here. So I want to divide everything. We have this reduced to 2 equals here is x squared minus x plus 1. And by taking 2 here, we have x squared minus x plus 1 minus 2 equals 0. Then we have this as x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. So we get another quadratic equation here. And when we solve this, what we are going to get here is x equals 1 plus or minus 
root 5 divided by 2. So this is what we are going to get as well. And one of these also satisfied, the other does not satisfy. So we can fix that out in the comment box. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.